What's going on everybody? My name is Pete, but you probably already knew that, but in case you didn't, you guys are watching the one and only Paid to Drive, and of course, Paid to Drive Vlogs, day number 1347 coming at you. Hope you are all having a great one out there. And ladies and gentlemen, if you drive for apps like Grubhub, DoorDash, Uber Eats, Postmates, just kidding, remember that? Nah, Postmates is part of Uber Eats. But if you drive for any of these apps or others, this is the channel for you to stay up to date with what is going on in the gig economy, everybody. That is correct. Get started right now. Hit that free red subscribe button down below. Turn on that notification bell so you're always notified when I make a new video. And of course, if you wouldn't mind, hit that like button down below. Just lets YouTube know I'm doing a good job. Let's set the goal at 150 and let's jump on into this. Bit of a lengthy email. So you may want to get yourself a snack, maybe a, maybe a drink, and uh, let's jump on into this. So this comes from Cheryl. Everybody say thank you to Cheryl in the chat or in the comments. So she goes, hey, Pete, I was listening to your recent post about the poor profit margins for DoorDash or insert your service of choice here, like Grubhub or Uber Eats, uh, and possible end of outsourcing delivery services. While drivers may be the biggest expense of delivery services, which I don't believe, and I'll address that later, they are the main component of the service. No drivers means no delivery and no money in DoorDash's pockets. Similar to a grocery store, if they had no food, their doors would close. I won't address the little robot cars because they are that far in the future, not the now in most markets. So I do agree with Cheryl uh, in, in this so far. Restaurants are not going to be in a rush to get their own drivers as profit, most likely corporate office. They are required to pay benefits, healthcare, dental, etc., to those individuals if they are full-time employees. If they classify these workers as part-time, many companies offer benefits to those employees as well. No matter what the classification is, they will have to pay taxes, maybe clothing expense, and either have to purchase vehicles for those drivers and incur the costs of insurance, registration, etc., or have the cumbersome task of reimbursing these drivers for the mileage and wear and tear on their vehicles. Now, keep in mind, like Domino's drivers, Papa John's drivers, those drivers use their own cars, you know, and have to use their own gas and stuff too. I don't know if they're reimbursed, but that that's a pain in the neck. Um, let's see. Uh, da, 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 da. Sorry, I lost my spot. Uh, no, no, no. This is not a cost-effective route for any of these companies. The payment to DoorDash does not outweigh the expense they would, incur, the, they would incur by supplying their own drivers. Just think of something as small as meals. Most restaurants offer free or discounted meals to employees and possibly their families. This cost now increases as well, as we have seen throughout the pandemic, which is very true. Uh, there are many times where these restaurants with their own delivery services have been overloaded by orders and turned to DoorDash as a secondary delivery method. How many drivers would the restaurant have to hire to have the delivery flexibility offered by these services? A lot. If you have one or two delivery personnel, uh, someone isn't going to get hot food, which will then affect food quality, customer ratings, as they say. Uh, <laughs> crap rolls downhill. Hiring more drivers would result wasted expenses uh, when deliveries are slow or require employees to wear an additional hat, uh, driver in addition to their current roles, uh, a different hat, right, in addition to their current roles. Let's not even get into the expense of the employee, if the employee gets into an accident. I'm sure you're getting my point by now. Totally, Cheryl, totally agree. As far as the drivers being the most costly part to DoorDash, I highly disagree. Their first expense should be IT, which I totally agree with. Because remember when DoorDash just decides to go down and everyone loses money and loses their minds? Stuff like that, like, I know things happen, no one's perfect, but stuff like that, like, shouldn't be happening that many times, you know? This would include employees to program the systems and the hardware and software. If IT is not the most costly component of the business, they are they are doing it wrong. I mean, hell, maybe they're doing they are doing it wrong, but I would have to get a better look at their operations. I know my app glitches several times during a dash. I think the article was extremely short-sighted and didn't take into consideration all the expenses incurred by the restaurants and how expanding into delivery would affect them. Delivery services aren't going anywhere in the near future. I think of mom and pop shops trying to reach a broader customer base, popular restaurants from which you love the food, but can't get a table for hours. DoorDash offers flexibility that restaurants have never had. 
I love your videos. Thank you for keeping us all informed and inspiring great conversations. Cheryl. So Cheryl, thank you first and foremost for writing such a lengthy uh, message like that. Um, yeah, I, I, I agree with you. Um, I don't think that restaurants are going to want to hire their own drivers. And I'm sure they, as much as they hate having to pay the 25, 30% commission fees to DoorDash or Uber Eats or Grubhub, I'm sure they love the fact that they are cranking out that much more business because you gotta also think of it this way. Now that mask mandates have been basically taken away almost completely and you can go into restaurants now, you know, um, I think, I think of it this way. What if you were a customer on DoorDash during the pandemic, right? Of a new restaurant and you're like, oh my God, I love this food. Well, now that the weather's good in most places, uh, and like I said, the mask mandates have been dropped in, in, in many ways. Um, what if those people that ordered on DoorDash are like, you know what, now that we can go to restaurants, let's go to the restaurant. So now the restaurant has new customers that were old customers just from ordering takeout, but now they're physically showing up and spending their money there. So now these restaurants are going and getting the business like they were before all the apps ever existed and before the pandemic existed, you know? So there is a positive side to that. As far as these companies going away anytime soon, it's hard to say. I'm gonna say no, but it's anything is possible, you know? Uh, some companies can just go belly up out of nowhere. So we'll see what happens, but I, I think for now we're, we're good. I don't think we have to be too concerned or worried. Um, so if you guys ever want to send me anything like Cheryl did, send me an email at pay to drive stories at gmail.com. And, uh, if you want to send me another faster message, you can contact me through Patreon link is in the description or in the pin top comment at patreon.com slash pay to drive. I give all my patrons shout outs in all my new videos. So when you hear your name called, say, Hey Pete, I heard my name. We got Samantha Michaels, Brian Pomeroy, Heidi Barnes, Joe Valerio, Kurt Paul, Lee Peacock, Tulsa Todd, William Boudreaux, newcomer, Laura Love, uh, Agus, Alan G. Van Horn, Drew Hanor, Fernando Carranza, Frank Haviland, Fresh One, Jason Casta, Justin Case, Lulu Laura, Natalie Mosley, Sarah Keston, Scott Freisner, Sherry Cassidy, Stephen Neely, Brian Richardson, Jenny Thomas, John Bonacci, Matt Epperson, Nick G, Stacey Miller, Terrence Pacheco, and Bubba Valerie Brown. That's right, everybody. So sign up down below on Patreon. Links in the description or in the pin top comment. And of course, make sure to download the Get Upside Gas app, everybody. It's a free app for your smartphone. And uh, here's how it works. Links down below. Make sure to download it. Go to your gas station, pump your gas, print out your receipt, take a picture of your receipt with the Get Upside Gas app. And within 48 hours or so, you'll get anywhere from 15 cents to 45 cents a gallon back, which is pretty fantastic. And if a friend or family member signs up using your code, you'll get paid every time they pump gas. It's called Get Upside. Links in the description. Make sure to download it. And uh, also, guys, comment 111 if you smash that like. That's right, everybody. Hit that like button and also check out this shirt over at paytodrivestore.com. Everything's on sale. Get all your t-shirts, hoodies, and goodies, all shapes, sizes, colors, and everything at paytodrivestore.com. And if you made it to the end of this video, simply leave a comment saying end 805, end 805. Hit that red subscribe button, tap the notification bell, and of course, hit that like button on your way out. Just lets YouTube know I'm doing a good job. And until next time, get that money, get that honey, keep hustling and keep bustling. And we'll see you next time right here on Paid to Drive and, of course, Paid to Drive Vlogs. Till next time, drive safe, be well, and uh, take care of yourselves and each other.